All right, we're back. <laughs> okay, guys. Do you see that thing up there? Yes. Like, that's the reason why the door locked. Like, when I came up here, I was like, why is this door locked? I was like, I don't get it. And when I was playing against this thing, I was like, what the hell? What the hell is this? And you know what? I actually know what that thing is. I know it's from The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. Holy crap. Watch out. It's supposed to be some kind of wart. So basically what you need to do is do that. And you have to destroy them. That's supposed to be like a giant wart, if I'm not mistaken. That is crazy. A giant wart, guys? Are you serious? You might want to conserve some of them pots. Because I think we're going to need them. Yeah, you got to destroy these things in order to be able to attack the wart. Oh, watch out. Get away from it. It's looking at me. Look at that giant eyeball. Yeah, use use uh, Zora Link Link to your uh, advantage, cause regular Link not so much of a challenge to these guys. You could pull out your arrows, but you want to use the Zora Link since it got the boomerang and it comes back. So, yeah. And this combat is pretty nice with the Zora Link. And yes, this thing takes away a lot of uh, hearts from me. Yeah, you need to destroy those bubbles quick. Oh, watch out. Watch out, you giant wart. This is going to take a while. Ooh, look at that. See that? That's why Zora Link is better used right here. Yes, yeah, it's going to take a while. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, you hit that thing's eyeball. That's 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 the thing you want to do. Get rid of some of these bubbles so you can in order to hit it in its eyeball. Yeah, you use yeah, this thing takes out a lot of health. You don't necessarily have to take out all the bubbles, but you just want to get be able to get to the eyeball. See that? It's taking damage. Dawn of the final day, 24 hours remain. And that that's another problem too, doing like getting this temple started like at a late date like this. Oh crap. Gotta watch out, that thing's behind me. Okay, where's the eye at? Where okay, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Now you just gotta get rid of all of these. Be careful because that wart does a lot of damage. Or a, a good amount of damage. Yeah, I recommend having you a fairy. Because I am about to die. These things are bouncing all over the place. No! No! I'm not ready to die just yet. 
See, they're, they're all over the place, man. Luckily, I have a fairy, and I won't, I'm not dead yet. Still got to be careful, though. So there's only two of these bulk. Okay, one more. Basically, you just punch the main ward in the eye when it comes at you. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna die. No! All right, I think at this point you want to uh, transform into Link and start shooting this thing in the eyeball with an arrow. Or I think you can hit, I think, you know, I think you can actually hit it with your sword. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna die, man. Look at that. Oh my gosh, are you serious? Oh, I had another fairy? What? I didn't even know that. Oh, how did I miss that? There you go. It's a war. Once you've gotten rid of the spheres that shield the main body, you can attack the eye. Man, I thought I was dead right there, guys. Oh, I'm sorry if that took so long. Woo! I'm so glad. And there it goes, guys. You got the ice arrow set to, set it to C to power up your arrows. Now you can freeze enemies and objects. Try it everywhere. So yes, the ice arrows are going to be very useful in this temple, man. I, I didn't even I didn't even know, man, what the ice arrows was capable of in this game. I thought it was going to be the same like Majora's Mask, uh, unless I never tried it in Ocarina of Time and then think to do it. Because I don't remember you being able to use the ice arrows to freeze the water and use them to your advantage you'll see what I mean so check this out the frozen Octorok right I mean not the frozen Octorok the Octorok right you're gonna do this basically what you're gonna do to get it up there is do that turn it to ice and use it as a platform what I'm gonna do though is go to the bunny hood just just because you get higher you get a higher jump Look at the other one Look at that other sneaky bastard What happens here I don't remember All right All right Dive back in here, transform to Zora Link. Uh, ho hold on, guys. Let me change my let me check my settings real quick for the controller. All right, everything seems to be good. So, uh, let's get out of this area. That's it. Oh, wait. Can't leave that way. What? Oh, okay. Here we go. All right. Now, since we have the ice arrows, we can use them to our advantage. Yes. Just, just uh, leave. I mean, just go up. To, just go up out of this place. 
Wait, wait, wait. Actually, you know what? I need to go back to this area right there. Yeah, I need to go back there. What? Come on. This is... Oh my gosh, are you serious? If I was about to get stuck right there, I would have been pissed. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Man, those fish are so annoying. But yeah, we're going to go back to this area here. Okay. All right. Yep, go back through here, you know, where, where we fought, where we uh, got the compass at. And had to come to this area. Yeah, just... just you don't have to worry about uh, getting a ferry unless you started the uh, cycle over. So, yeah, we're back here at this area. What you're going to do is transform back to normal link. Um... Wow, is that even a good idea? Hold on, let me cut these guys at loose first. I could have just shot them with a regular arrow. You know? But I didn't even think about it. I just said, let me do this as Young Link. Alright, there we go. Now, switch back to Young Link. Jump on that. And what you're going to do is shoot an ice arrow like right here. Look at that. I didn't even know you could use the ice arrows like that. When I saw, when I saw, it, I was like, "Oh my goodness, you can even do that in Ocarina of Time." At, at least I'm positive that you cannot do that in Ocarina of Time. So, yeah, uh, just pull out your fire arrow right here. Yeah, you're gonna be consuming a lot of magic at this place. All right, there we go. Oh, look at this guy again. Oh, no, no, no. I think I might die at this place. Let me take out my regular arrows. Oh, I, I'm just trying to Zora Lane to get rid of these things. Yeah, I don't remember what you're supposed to do here. You pop these? Oh, yeah. Use your ice arrows here. That's, that's how we do it. I remember now. No, let me go. He does like a fury of attacks at you and then this happens. What? Oh, what? Am I? St I'm stuck. No. What the hell? Are you serious right now? I'm stuck. Look at this, guys. Oh my gosh! I have to do this place over. Are you kidding me? Wow. All right. So here I am back in this area. Oh my goodness! I can't believe I got froze right there. Like the game, I can't believe it just froze, like, had me in a way where everything was just frozen. So, yeah, but anyways, like I said, what you do here is, like, when he does that, you're going to aim the ice arrow. What? How come it didn't work? You're supposed to aim the ice arrow at him before, like, yeah, so he's supposed to hit you out. I don't know what the heck happened last time, but yeah. Uh, when he's about to drop, what you do is use the ice arrows and freeze the bubble. See this? No! Yeah, and then you get to him and just like, you know, slice and dice him. 
But since he since he's not letting you reach him that easy, just shoot him with the arrows. All right, hurry up back to your ice arrows. Use the bunny hood just for speed to get out the way. What? Come on. Wait, you're supposed to pretty much hit him before uh, you land. Okay, come on. What? There you go, finished. And he transforms into one of the frogs for the choir. So yeah. Man, I can't believe that that happened though, man. Like really? Ah, all right. Uh, I guess I turned into Don Jero for this guy. Actually, no, because it's not going to matter. Look what time it is of the day. Are there any hearts up in one of these? There's, like, no hearts in these boxes because I guess, like, you're going to need, need magic for the ice arrows to stop that dude. Okay. So, how do we get out of here? Oh, oh, yeah. Here's this other door next to it and yeah this is how you get the boss room key all right so uh, what I'm gonna do is make it to the next area we should be at and I'm going to stop right there and continue more of this game later or tomorrow so yeah let's let's get right there okay yeah we're supposed to be at this area next just surface no we're gonna surface next to okay Oh, come on, the ladder was right there. The ladder was right there. Okay, here we go. Sorry, guys, I'm wasting your time like that. But, uh, yeah, uh, I'm going to stop right here, and we will continue more of this area. Yeah, because we're going to do something about that right there. But, anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.